Have you not seen the show? Cold is here. I must have seen the show. All the way up until like halfway through how season you, seven. Forget winter is coming. How was a you... yoke. I was jesting. Oh, <laughs> okay, well, I'm blonde, so things go over my head easily. Um, <clears throat> things don't go over my head. I usually catch them. <clears throat> I told you not to drink the wine, Mirandelle. Uh! I told you not to drink the wine. Uh... Oh, you want to see? Wait, Sergeant, Sergeant. No, 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 watch this though. I have some actual magic for you. Ready? Okay. So, see my sword? Okay. Ooh. Uh, so, no, 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 careful. Ready? 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 Okay, ready? Oh, I've seen this is really cool. <sighs> oh, magic! What? <laughs> Sergeant, Ooh. Sergeant. Amazing. Sergeant. Take the so quit my job. <laughs> Sergeant! I'll take it! I'll take it! No! 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 Give it back! <laughs> Wait a minute! It's trial, trial, trial. Do you not point Stop your weapon at him? He's done nothing wrong. <clears throat> I've done nothing wrong. He's doing trial magic. He's an innocent man. Please do not throw He's levitating a sword in midair. No. He can do whatever he wants. Not. I don't know about that one. Are you alright? What do you? How much did you eat? Blue cheese, did you? No, it looked bad. I thought it was off. Not much. Yeah, it was off. Blue cheese. I didn't see blue cheese. I saw moldy cheese. I thought that was. He lacks toes. He lacks toes. I've never seen him with his shoes off. Um, Mirren. Is he in Delhi? I've never seen him with his shoes off. He was in the bathroom today. Um, uh, I don't think so. I didn't see her. Unless she has a dark nose. We need to gather our people for the tomorrow. Exactly what I was going to see in Delhi. She wasn't in there. Yes, we're <clears throat> going on an excursion. Nothing yes. fancy. We're going on a bit of a trip. Just don't cause trouble. Right. Your favorite rocket ship. Of course. You're going to be going on a trip. Is mm. there something to do with those mushroom men? <laughs> Why would it have anything to <laughs> do with the mushroom, mushroom men? men? What are you talking about? What? God, this the, the mushroom. Mu this yeah. guy. <laughs> Mushroom. <laughs> they have an appearance. Really specific? Age? They haven't appeared. Yeah, yeah, I don't so understand why. why. Anyway, we should um, should we be why gathering our people? The mushroom men. After all this time, should we be worried about something? Do you know something? I just told a man to go do his job. What's going on, what Captain Sergeant? No, what was about he was saying? Men? He said what, there was something was about mushroom saying? men. And yeah. Well, he said something about mushroom and they haven't been mushroom Listen, he was weeks. dropped on his head as a kid, don't worry about him. Anywho, um, <clears> no, you don't need to be worried about anything. I got a tingling. Alright. Right. Oh. No, you don't. And that's, I don't. That's, that's his job. Captain uh, Sir does he? Okay, he I'm going to find the end there. Yes, Mary let's go. The end does not up there. We talked about this. He's okay. <sighs> fine, fine. We're just up there. Fine, 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 fine. Hold on, I gotta pull a Mirandel. Oh no, don't pull Mirandel. Oh, pardon me, sir. <laughs> do not mean to uh, do you, intrude do on you the say walking sir or pardon? Good sir. Esteemed, good sir. Sir Captain, sir. Esteemed, sir Captain, <laughs> don't, sir. Don't start pushing it, all right. <laughs> We're happy for you. I believe she's uh, out. I, I, do not have I left a note under her door, though, if you need something done. Probably a good idea, yes. I need I my money. Oh, then, good luck. Hmm. Right. Right. If I were a dryad in the snow, where would I be? Hmm. Uh, not in the snow. Oh, oh, I know. Uh. Lisa, please. Lisa, please. Lisa, please stop. Stop this madness. Stop this. Where did you put the fucking? Where did? Where did you put the turkey? What did you do with the fucking turkey? Hmm. You ate it? Oh, no, you don't know where it is. Oh god. It's gonna be moving like an elk in front of me, okay? <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> Have you seen Ian, though? 
No, I have not. Hmm. She's needed. If you do see her, let her know I'm looking for her. If I see her, I will let you know. Who are you Thank looking you. for? To see to something. Three ladies for the larger scene. Is that uh, wine catching up to you? No. Is that what you... uh, Don't worry about it. Well, uh, well, when uh -huh. you say it like that, there's surely nothing to worry about. Keep looking. <clears throat> <clears throat> I thought I was the curious one. In any case, <sighs> well, wait, where are you going? Something. We're looking for, um, we're just looking oh. for Edo, that's all. Nothing important. Uh, we'll stay safe. Right. You okay, Maya? Oh. Oh. I'm fine. I just make a lot of noises, you know. Oh. Oh. Is it a hobbit thing? Oh. 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 Okay, down to the other tail fuck. What? Oh. Okay, I can do this. Oh. 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 Like when I'm eating carrots, I'm like, you know, heretical chanting. I so much food out there. What are those noises you're making? I don't know. There's just a lot of food at the uh, so much food. I just wanted to down there. That's terrifying. Crossbow men. <laughs> Huh. <laughs> oh, there she is. Oh. I see green. Red roses too. Well, what are you two doing down here behind the houses? <coughs> Discussing? You know, Earlier be. How Ledford needs comradery. Comradery. Sexual and you know that I'm not allowed to say. <clears throat> Yeah, we can it's imply it. Everyone just fade to black. from me. If anything, if anything, I was just being as close to the force as I could actually be without leaving the palisade. I see, right. Hmm. We wanted to talk about what we uh, discussed the other day. I think it's about time we get it's... a group together. I think everyone here, bar one, is pretty good for. Are you um, doing what I think you're doing, Mirandel? Say again. Are you doing what I think you're doing? Probably. It, it depends on what discussion. you think I'm doing. Making Remember, terrible, was... terrible decisions in the middle of winter. Always. We also had that discussion a while back inside of us, Savage and Kate's house. So he already knows what it is. Yes, and I was literally in the last place. <clears throat> you can be anyway. part of the discussion. Where do you want to Very go? Well. Huh? well, I want to start rounding up as many people as we can that have combat experience. Hi, Hi. Bofo, are you causing trouble? No! Are you sure? <clears throat> yeah, oh, I hope so. I heard Maya talking about you quite savagely. Mm. She doesn't like your, your, you know, you should probably go see what she was talking about. I think it was about those shoes or something, saying they were like really raggy or something. My shoes? Yeah. Yeah, you know, you probably need to talk to her about, you know, something. I think you might need to clear it up. She doesn't like you being here now. Give her a bucket. Uh, <clears throat> clear it out. But she already has one. We're water. making cheese in it. I think you need to apologize to her, Bova. That was... What you did was kind of. What I do? I think you need to talk to her about I it. Probably want to talk to her about it. She didn't even want to talk about it, but I'm sure you know what it is. Mm -hmm. Go find her. Mm. Okay, I don't know what you guys are talking about, but okay. Whatever happened to? Time. Hey, we need to have a conversation privately. We can. Can we not just default to that? <laughs> No, I liked yeah, it. Was much more <laughs> it was much more fun. Yeah. 
I don't think he was good. Well, he's a hobbit. Of course, he problem. seems suspicious. <clears throat> Next time, I'll just kick him down the fucking hill, and we can watch him roll all the way to the guild house. <laughs> I'm fucking dead in space. Oh, that's fun. Anyways. Anyways. Continue, we need to get as many able bodies together as we can that can fight. So anyone that cannot fight is a liability, and the more of those we have, the less confident I am that this whole operation succeeds. So, who are we thinking? Combat ready people, people with fight, equipment. They have to be able to follow instructions. Mm -hmm. Very much. Yes. So. They have to understand yes. that following instructions is vital, and to keep their mouth fucking shut. Well, Mirandal is going to be leading this operation. The rest of us are there to just fight. Should we gather everyone, and then Mirandal is makes it very clear that if they can't listen, then. I think that's a good idea. Whoever we decide to take with us, Mirandal should give. This some is going to include talking. caves again, because you know I hate caves. No. Exactly, it's ruins after all. Yes, ruins. Underground ruins or above ground ruins? <gasps> we don't know. We, we are don't know. not holding our breath on that one. We're going to a forest. Through a forest. Right, well, but the thing that we're trying to find through. has been underground. Right into the middle. Twice, hasn't it? certainly has. It's entirely possible we're going underground. I'd be quite surprised to see one of those structures that you mentioned built above ground. Yeah, people would have seen it by now, like surely. Precisely. Well, if it's not, if it's in the middle of the Berdari Forest, not many people go through there, through there you know? Especially Here comes Vakir. He's a mercenary. <clears throat> Bring him on board. Yes. He did get run through, did he not? Oh. Vakir. And those are 300 oh, reasons evening. why I hate Vakir. Oh, hi. Evening? What? No. Morning. How was the feast for you? Afternoon? Vakir, um, you like money and danger, right? Ah. What a terrible way to start that off. Uh, Vakir, we have a... <laughs> Would you like to maybe die? So terrible, so well. yes. terrible mission that um, you we need as many able bodies die, to fight for. But I could, you could just be saying a pack of wolves is your problem and saying die. What is the <clears> issue? <throat> what is... I'll start over. Right. <clears throat> hmm? Well, should we gather everyone so we don't have to do this like tomorrow. 20 times? That's a good idea. <sighs> Uh, you're interested in going on an ex a dangerous expedition for tomorrow. Ah, oh, speak of the devil. Well, uh, speaking of dangerous. Person. And where's dangerous. this expedition hey, go? Where, where is it happening? Oh. Oh, More details I came to follow. To the butchers again, and you were not there. The oh, fuck. <laughs> Whoa, oh, Jesus! How the fuck? I ate some of that blue cheese. I need something now. I'm you ate blue dying. cheese, and now you're covered in blood. He's got the shits. Not and that. the shit's gone his face. Also, my gut is paining me. It's acting up again. I need something to kill this pain. Please. <clears throat> what, the drink said there? How about... You know, we gather our people, is, is he, does he still meet, meet somewhere in an hour. To, uh, you know, 30 minutes. Very well. Uh, we will meet... Uh, is it day now? Or is it sunset uh, soon? Or... Noon. It's, it's I lost track of time. Day. Probably about noon. Yeah, yeah, very good. <clears throat> then disseminate the word that there is a meeting for an expedition. We will meet outside of the town hall at sunset. Very well. Only talk to people you Whoa. think are smart. Smart, smart and capable of weapons, weapons and know how and to capable use of fighting. And willing to follow yes. instructions. Sorry, cat, that leaves you out. <laughs> where, where, where is this expedition God damn it. going? Where, where it's because I'm blonde, isn't it? The details will be told to all of you at the town hall this evening. Well, I can do the last few uh, things. We have to wait till this evening. I'm drunk enough. I might pass out before then. Come on. Oh, come on. Yeah, it shouldn't be more than uh, 30 odd. All right, minutes. if you won't be there, I'll tell you. But uh, come you aside. <clears throat> look at your hand. Uh, you, you can look at the shadow on the back of your wrist and kind of guess where yes. the sun is in relation you know, to it. You look at your knuckles, mm -hmm. and you have I them upright, see. and the shadows shine off your knuckles at a different rate, yeah? Mm -hmm. 
actually. Yes. It mm -hmm. says Tuesday on mine. Tuesday? Uh. Mine says, <laughs> mine says mine Wednesday. Says Tuesday says Wednesday. Yeah, mine's wrong. Right. My knuckles are wrong, I need to reset them. <laughs> Alright. Oh, oh, oh god. Well, you know, shall we, you know, uh, see, go on a walk I, to find the rest of the people? I'm hmm. oh, sorry. Were you, yes. I, I was just, you know, I was Would looking at Arn earlier, you know, when he was sitting in front of all the all the lords and that, and it was like a sight that I would thought I would never see. What do you you know what I mean? You know, Fulgrith was there. <clears throat> huh. oh, oh, shit. The king was there. The king was there. The king was there. Arn was there. And and what? And Lord, Lord, what's the other lord's name? Yesterday, they told me there was going to be inquisitors there as well. Godfrey. Oh my god. Lord Godfrey was there. Fucking with me. I have no idea what you mean. Ye and Del. She said you were messing with me. What? I talked to Maya, and she has no idea. Well. Is that anyway, Jack? let's go find those people. Yes, let's go find those people. Jack! Jack's important. Oh, Jack. Jack's important. What do you say? Some people are more important than others. Yes. There is a pecking order. Yeah, that's kind of Ones that actually know how to use a weapon. Mm -hmm. That's true. You know? Jack. Won't be Jack. 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 Jackson. Jack. Oh. Oh, that's right. That's right. Uh, um, cool, Jack. Jack. <laughs> that was rich. Captain Jack. What? We have a thing <laughs> that you might be interested in. Berry? I'm not uh, even blue. Do you like money? Do you like adventure? <laughs> well, we can't promise. Then meet money. us at sunset on front of the new town hall. Money and adventure is to be advised. You, I would stay away from that front. On front, do you mean? Yes. In you have to be able out to out front. Uh, Go front. You can't go. The, the insides aren't complete yet. Sunset. Yes. It would be really good to have you. Please. Please. Uh, Please. Please. <clears throat> Someone did what? Your blade? Uh, <laughs> um. Come on, you two. Afternoon, gentlemen. How are you? Oh. Staying in your trouble? Afternoon. Afternoon. Come on. Come pop into town. Yeah, come for drinks. Come on in. I don't look so so savage. Come on now. Uh, oh, do, they, do they not know? You needn't be so worried around us. We're in an alliance. We are now. Ah, of, of course. Right. Ah, yes. well, you're welcome. Okay. Please. <clears throat> Chat. Am I angry? I suppose it was you staring, or were you in the middle of conversation? We were. Oh. Well, we kind of were in so conversation, but you know. You welcome to go through, though. We're not stopping you at all. Can we get a drink. Free. Thank you. Please, yes. A drink sounds quite nice. I remember that the. Uh... Your names. Hmm. Name's Bruca, and you can you can introduce yourself. Lovely. My name is Katrina. And you uh, are. Pleasure. An old. I see, lovely. Well, anyway, please enjoy yeah. the tavern. Uh, Faye and Nick will make you comfortable. I work there as well, but I never go anyways. Anyways, I don't. right. Well, shall we? Yeah, please let's enjoy. go. We'll see if anybody in the tavern is, uh... <sighs> but that's all. Um, is that the any of those... Parents? Oh, well, seems to be a couple of paths. Not the person I'm looking for. Right. But we should talk to Mirandel <clears throat> about why we suddenly have an alliance with these people and we've no fucking clue about why we are.
stuff. Though I may or may not have just seen two bandits do something strange on the side of the uh, tavern. It's a bit odd. What'd they do? I don't know, they were just... I don't know, one was standing here like he was looking like a god, and the other one was down in the snow right... Ooh! There's a hole! There's a hole here. Alright, you know what? I'm not gonna... There's a hole, but... Wait, let's have a look. What is this? I don't know, it just looked a bit shifty what? to me. I, I don't wanna... Get what? in trouble. I don't bandits. understand what you're talking about. You didn't hear this from me. Hey! Elf. Mirren. What's going on? Why are we suddenly at an alliance with these fucking bandits and they're just walking in and out of our town like it's <clears> nothing? Are they walking in and out? Did... They are in our tavern. Did not see that. Tavern. Where are they? In our tavern are right about? now. They said it's fine because there's an alliance, the but... In the green. Oh, <clears> the dread knives. They are going to help us in the coming days. The dread knives are going to help us? No, not the Dread Knives. The Dread Knives have left. They've left? Yes. Most of the bandits What's have that? departed. Those mm, ones are the left. ones who have decided to stay behind. Well, they either have left or they are going to leave soon. Where did they go? In any case... Uh, west, I believe. To safety. In any case, I need to check on the scribe if we can walk and talk, if you'd like. Did you find what you needed with Jack? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> okay. I am not. I am asking now. What's going on? I'm sure they mean their home. Honestly. I'm sure it has to do with yesterday's events. It went quite well. Wouldn't you agree? They did. Yes. And why are they back? And what do they want? No guess is as good as mine. I'll be down with you shortly to investigate the matter, but I must check in on the scribery. Hmm. As quickly as you can. Hmm. I didn't hear anyone, so he... Go ahead and search the place, make sure there's no one hiding around any corners, anything strange like that. I'm gonna make sure nothing's been moved. Mm, I believe not. Snoopers or any of that. <sighs> oh. 
All right. That's fine. All well and good. Did you just lock my door? You know, you close it just right, the latch on the other side falls. <laughs> I see. <laughs> well, just to be sure... <laughs> oh yeah, I, sure. I recommend that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if someone yanks it hard enough, it probably do that. Don't worry me now. We are missing a key. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Go right ahead. Okay. All right. As do we. Indeed. When Sunday Set comes around, go to the new town hall. We have something to discuss. But in a sea of town halls, up, huh? Correct. Sunset. Yes. To think you were there this morning, but there was a large feast with the king. I don't think that's the way you did. Oh, yeah, I heard about that. Only gonna spell ill. <clears throat> doesn't matter. Doesn't matter what kind of. We should fuck them off again. And, uh... and of let's, course. I mean, look, check it. The moment they come back, we have the feast. So what does that say? They're apparently having men talk. That's not the I'm moment they came back. Them before. That was before. like the like the day. Did they come <sighs> back today or yesterday? Hello. Oh. Good to see you. I've heard that you were in town. Any particular reason? Some questions I'm trying to answer as much as I can without, you know, being too special. Oh, man, talk. You know, I get one. See, there's, there's a reason there's a palisade and you're on the other side of the palisade. Let's just, let's just leave it at that. We've, we've so had a very nice bad run in with, with your group. So, I don't want to say, like, too well, many things. You at long I assume. Down. I'll is everyone going to try to, I'm just trying to have a conversation the with these gentlemen, is everyone going to have to surround us? Yes. Oh, I, uh, not to the common peasantry, no, but to the ah. appropriate powers that be, yes. That explains the leaves. Mm. Well, I'll be a shunner. If you uh, hold against them, I cannot stop. And the concern, especially for the peasant, before You'll forgive me, we were in the middle of a private discussion, but um, this rather helpful man here, showing us around town, getting us acquainted with our friendly neighbors. See, the way you're saying that brings me cause for concern for some odd reason. <laughs> I merely enjoy the look in your eye, that is all. Truly, we do not come here. Just some a few things we want to understand. That's all. Well, if you have any questions, I'd be happy to help you. You're not going to. Well, how long are you folks going to be staying around? Exactly. As long as we feel like it. Yeah, until spring, because I was actually thinking of having a nice spring market. 
So if you gentlemen can, you know, spend your winter apple toiling away, making making some bits of bobs, you could sell them at the market. I want to make this a big thing, you know? Uh, it's not out of the realm of possibility. I know if you there's actually a name for this. Crochet. <gasps> you crochet? Oh, you can make a whole blanket over the winter. So that for good pay. Yeah. Regardless, I'll see what you I can come up with. Well, you know, so <sighs> If they're right, another dragon is allowed. <clears throat> yep. It's likely your man is left as well. I'm aware. Where's Mirindo? Somebody well, don't come at me, with a blade, then it's all by He ain't caught you. There he is. Something's the matter on? Fifteen. Oh dear. You didn't have enough to drink at the party? <laughs> oh! <laughs> Seems the gods have been playing tricks on us. Well, and there he goes. Fast. From my perspective, I blinked. Hey. Must be my old eyes. Surely. I take it, uh, you reminded him? Reminded him of... It's about getting uh, it rewritten. You're right, supposed to dress down. I'm an abomination. Uh, it's cold. Why would uh, you? Strong man like you well, fights off everything except no, a cold. No, no, no. Hmm. I'm not as strong as you think. Your actions outweigh your words, Mr. R. You made it back. Mm. How's the trip? Oh, I don't want to leave again. I mean that. Really? It was so fucking cold. Oh yeah. And then the ship started falling out of the sky, and I was confused. I thought it was ashes. So I've seen ash fall from the sky, but not this stuff. Snow is what Cade called it. I know. I was I've seen confused ice. the first time. Not this. <clears throat> Everything okay, on? It's rather annoying. Someone's in a shitty mood. What happened? Huh? How are you doing? I'm alive. <laughs> Nearly had my spine <laughs> crushed last night. I did. <laughs> Goodness, you made it back okay. I'm so worried about you two. We're fine. Don't worry. Good. You should be worried about Kate. I was about to chop his head off for talking too much. Um. <laughs> he does just like not you. Shut up. Literally, all he does is sing about <laughs> potatoes and tomatoes and the bad pronunciation of but. <laughs> that sounds like something he can do. <laughs> well, come on in. We can get you something. Come to think of it, I think that's the town hall they said they were doing. The big one over there, oh. with the tri-peaked roof, is the town hall. Brand new. Not finished yet, though. Dangerous. Don't go in. 
<clears throat> Floor's not done, apparently. Mm. I want to go in. Yeah, well, of course you like do. It's fucking gross. You've been around yourself as long there as you are. It's <laughs> 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 no wonder if this forge is even up today. Okay, out of care. Someone's judgment. My address, my. The next time you enter your room, it's going to be blatantly obvious someone rummaged through. Said something about a order for a blade and handed over three silver for it. <laughs> Looks uh, things over. Uh, tell me. Uh, uh, figured the stuff. Terribly uh, sorry. Accounted for. Uh, do you want to serve it to dad? Or do you want to sit? I don't think he wants to be around me. I'm just going to leave that there. Oh, jeez, heck. What did you do? I think I let him down, but I don't think that's why. I think something else is going on. Let's sing it Again. As I was saying, Miss, was it Arendelle? Right, so. Ian Dell. This whole thing is like a steel trap, I don't know. Well, it is. What would you like to drink? Just some water, some cheese, and some breakfast. I don't really mind what it is. I did not get involved. Awen was here, and maybe he decided to tell them the story. They were asking about the... Did you miss me? Of course I missed you. Where would I be without <coughs> your constant chaotic nature, Sarah? Really, even after I was such a bitch to you, you actually did miss me. I felt like a part of Ledford was missing. For better or for worse. <laughs> yep. It's not a bad man, Inevitable, the but at least I so put it on have for a couple of weeks. If you to you to pretend they're happy. Ah, oh, perfect. Food. Warm, delicious food. Thank you. I guess I'll have K paid for you. <laughs> yes, this time I've wasted all of my money on a brand new coat and boots. Very expensive. They won't get here till tomorrow, though, sadly. <laughs> I'll have to try my best tonight. <coughs> We're heading to bed early because of the cold being so bad, and I have no protection mm -hmm. for the girls or my arms. Are they girls? Yes. Rita and Ida. Very well. What, you don't name your lumps? No, I don't. You don't name them. Like I'd name them something in in drowish. Drowish. It's just drow. Is it? No ish at the end. Yes. Oh, we were drow. We are drow. Drow is plural and singular. And our language. That's what I would like to. Yes. Well, that's called undercommon. Actually, we don't really have a drow. Oh. Language. Undercommon has many different variants. Depends on where you're from. Type nonsense. Common was a lot easier because everyone speaks it. <coughs> is it under elvish? No, it's just under common is the language of the underdark. But it's vast. <coughs> I see. A lot different <coughs> in many cases. They live similar lives. Like Sorry, I'm eating yogurt right now. Let me catch you up on what happened. Um, Godfrey came back, King was with him. Attacked by servants of Ash, had my spine crushed. Bathhouse opened. How are you walking? Fucking hurts like a motherfucker. How are you walking? Conveniences. 
Ma'am? Me? Uh, idea of what uh, medicine Ma was, for instance. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Before they have people... I was sitting grabbing a drink. ...specifics of alchemy and herbal medicine. That's about everything you could... So yeah, that's what happened. Oh, you're gone. ...some sort of medicine. Maybe so how are you alive against these servants of Ash? <clears throat> Like well, the main is that. They would eat it. Pro thing, or the pro, the pro. It's the good thing. No, those are the demons. Servants of Ash are the demons. They have an actual name. Oh, the night <coughs> That's the name. The name is Servants of Ash, apparently. The servants. Apparently. Oh. There were slaves that were tortured enough to be completely and utterly broken on every level. That's why they don't feel pain, because they've been tortured for hundreds of years. <clears throat> but the good thing about fighting them is I've learned their weak points now, so I'm doing quite well. And I like it. Plenty. <laughs> At least, <clears throat> no one can kill them alone. But I've done a lot of the killing blows. <clears throat> because I know their weak points. I think I'm upwards of 14 or 15 now. Really? Yes. Upwards of 14 or 15, I suppose. I lost count. Kind of went a little weird. So how was the capital? Nice. Oh my god, everyone was locked up, we couldn't even go in. We had to rely on travellers and merchants outside of the walls. What do you mean? Locked up. Anyone in other than nobles and soldiers. Oh. Oh, um, he's now a knight. I heard that. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that means, though. I'm not sure what your it's rank is. He has fancy titles. He has a fancy title, and he has honor. And we call him Sir now, instead of Captain. But he's technically still a captain. He is Sir Rowlet. <clears throat> So nothing's changed except his acknowledgement. Gotcha. It's a big thing for him. And I warned him I did the red ones, the red berries on the shrub. You know good, but you mind if I take a seat? By all means. <laughs> I'd like to talk to you later, Mirren. Very well. Of course. We're all planning to talk to each other. So it would seem. <clears throat> Still getting used to sitting. Make sure your legs are, like, available to be seen, because otherwise they turn off. You sit for too long. Right. Wiggle your toes every now and again. Move them around. Mm -hmm. Good to know. <coughs> Legs look great, by the way. It really adds a lot, doesn't it? The way he kind of stands. <laughs> so, how is Adwick? Oh, it was awful. Worst experience of ever. Everything was locked up. We couldn't even get into the gates themselves, into the walls. We were stuck outside the town. Had to rely on merchants and travellers to buy our stuff. We're lucky we found a wonderful garment seller. I cannot remember his name, but he was rather flamboyant. He's the same age as, or Sarah's the same age as Carl. I see. I also got some crossbow yeah. Not many, because there weren't many to be sold, seeing as I couldn't even get into the boyer. Hello. Hmm. So, Don't mind if I sit. Go ahead. You just got a Sir Rallet from good to see you back. Sarah. I haven't seen you in a while. Say again? You just got a Sir oh, from Sarah. He's obviously acknowledged by all of the people of Ledford. <coughs> Am I not a person of Ledford myself? Albeit a slave. 
Town. Not really one for fancy armor and fancy <laughs> titles. But Do you want to stop a blade? Yes. But Adric was completely locked up. Only the only people allowed in the gates were soldiers and nobles. High nobles. Everyone else was getting shooed. We're lucky we found everything we needed. See. Where'd you go? Adwick. For the last couple mm. of How about the roads? Mm. Anything of note? We avoided them at night for the most part, for obvious reason, both with case issues that he's working through, as well as friends. But when the snow started to fall, the roads seemed to thin out a bit. I can't remember if we've seen much people or not, but Adwick was very busy. <coughs> very busy. What's the word? Apprehension was in the air. People seemed like they were holding their breath. Looking over the shoulders every couple of seconds, even though they're right in their front yards. Very strange people. Very similar to here, actually. Except <laughs> no, I don't. Hearing, uh, More people. Hmm. You missed a grand feast. Is he alright? I heard. He collapsed. All for you, sir. More for Ledford and its people, but surviving oh, another winter. Getting to another winter. Don't count your chickens, Captain. <laughs> you know, other species migrate when it gets too cold. <clears throat> I wonder why we don't. If we can set up houses and stuff, be warm. Well, so do they. They also have protective feathers and fur. It's that they still thingy. travel for miles and miles away. In, in Very for... quiet, Moon Dill. You okay? In for... I'll just, um... In, in thinking about in, logistics. In for... In, in, in for structure. Yes. <coughs> sure you know the yeah. bandits that came into town, eh? Ah, yes, yes. Did you figure out why they're here? They're, they're just here to... Uh, kind of he drink and ask questions about, um... About the, uh, you know, mm, what happened to their other man down in the dungeon. I see. <coughs> they were pretty open about it. I asked why, and they said they just wanted to know. It's fair of them, I suppose. They're men after all. Sure. Uh, a lot changed them. while you were gone. Um, oh, go ahead. Have you spoken to Falgris yet? About, no, you know, no, any I've other. not been summoned. But I did leave a missive for the Lord. So. Hopefully they have seen it by now. Hopefully we can just get men moved out there. Hmm. Yes. I suppose uh, they're already here asking about it. And people already know. The uh, bandits that live out in the keep. Well, uh, we've come to a sort of tenuous agreement with them. Agreement? Yes. They will be leaving soon, and uh, a few of them wanted to stay behind, so they reached out, and without getting into too much detail, have offered their aid for the coming weeks in exchange for medicine, uh, food, sort of thing. Understood, so I guess they're like our swords now, yes. Something like that. Ledford's uh, 
stay here and be our oh friends my... until what? You decide to uh, come not? back with uh, twice as many? No, <laughs> no. They would come back if I did not tell them what happened to their comrade down below and they found out anyway. Honestly, if they wanted to take Ledford when they attacked the first time, I'm sure they could have. There's a bigger foes out in the forest now. Yes, there are. They are still bandits. So They're bandits with a bone to pick, so to say. Mm. We can trust them at least for this. Trust. We can pick their bones elsewhere. We're too busy. <sighs> right. No. We're going to want them. <laughs> Their bone to pick is not with us. In any case, that's Good. enough on that matter. Just know that they should not be a problem. I hope that's the case. I believe you, but... Well, stay vigilant. I'd much rather right. take a bandit attack over those creatures You're anyway. You're certainly going to hop down here and eat this Bucket. food while it gets cold. Hmm. You need it already. Rather like no. the view from up here. Oh, do you have my fine pants? Then, uh, fine then, fine then, sure. I'll, yeah. I'll come hop down. Uh, I might want to watch up for a bit, Mirando. I'll have to double check my. Yeah. Give me a moment. Oh, yeah, that, okay, maybe that's not working. Never mind. <laughs> good, good. After what happened last night. So this will be normal. Further work. <coughs> Did you call me? Uh, Excuse me. Uh, uh, what? Are you sure about that? Uh, are you sure? Are you sure? I see. Uh, no rush. <laughs> okay. But um, if you okay. do have it done by I the mean... end of the before the end of the day, I would greatly appreciate it. I'll even give you a um a rush fee or something if it's not done. Uh, I poured out a tiny bit and I rolled an eleven. So do with that as you will. <laughs> He'd pull up the shirt and he'd see his chest ah. just completely... Oh, and it. our neighbors are looking uh. for you. Right. Oh. I must go deal with the formalities. You need a lot. Uh, Grab you. <laughs> okay, <laughs> all right. He knows, he knows. <laughs> if anything... Listen, there's two copper on the line. You know, for such small creatures, they're so pushy. <laughs> Angry. <laughs> they're like... Oh, they're deceptively strong. Speak for yourself. Little chipmunks. Well, I'm not as small as them. Excuse you, I'm a normal height no, for my race. Leaf. I mean, to be fair, I am not smaller than fair. the dwarves. To be fair, they are. They, they are they are also fair. they are also normal height for their species as well. Well, they are small to me. Okay, it's fair. It's fair. I, I, I suppose it's more like it's more like the portions that sets it off because they're like short but stubby. You know. You're short and stubby. Oh, why not? Like this. You're full. <laughs> After all that walking you around, off the table. burned off all the need I had over the past week, I'm sure. You look like shit. So I'm nowhere near being stubby. <laughs> Good to see you, Kyla. Andrew, glad you made it back, okay? Thank you. How was the Adwick? You look angry. Yeah. Dreadful. I Give hate to do it. Oh, nope. Oh. I was angry. Still on a little so bit. Mad? Got it. Mirren's making choices that are stupid. I agree. Like what? What is new with him? <laughs> What's in your mind? Not exactly as you're doing. I don't know. I'm gonna get some fresh air. I'll check. <laughs> I'll come back if it is. Okay. Do you mind stepping outside with me for a second? Amazing how much you can miss in two days. <laughs> I'm just dead today. <laughs> You're right, so I just had to scratch his back on the wall a little bit. My back is like fucked. I know what you mean. Such Make language. Like sometimes. I have something I wanted to give you. Just 
turn into like a little simple looking one. I uh, talked to Tang and got it done when I wanted to get one too. Because I know you and Tang are, uh, you know, a thing and I think she would appreciate it. You're doing this for us. I'd like to have a more simple gift to give unto uh, Jack as well. Hmm. You got a good heart. Something to do to pay it back. <clears throat> Only ten copper. If there was nothing. Ten copper for nothing. Shh. I'm trying to be nice. <laughs> I did this out of kindness. That's fine. Tang did most of the work anyway. I suppose so, but. Thank you. <laughs> no problem. As long as you appreciate it and you give it to her, that's all I ask. Oh, shit. Well, time for something. Yes. I was uh, gonna do something more uh, traditional for elves, but possibly make it back. If you have an island, do the island and do a bag, a traveling sack. <clears throat> Very well, that can be done. I'll keep it in mind when I return to work. Hagen, I um, got my sheath and stuff. I left one silver and 30 copper as agreed on your desk. Just to let you know. Mm, surprised you got into my shop. I will have to prepare for that sort of thing. <clears throat> I am sneaky. Mm. It was impatient. I didn't realize you'd be um, waking up today, so. But I, I was paid. awake, just recovering. <clears throat> Apologies. Mm. Yes, do not do that again. Mm -hmm. There was one other who did something for me, but I do not know where they are. <laughs> That's the hill of contemplation. Oh, I pierced up there. there they are. You what? I pierced up there when it snowed. You pissed up there. They told me Why that it there? would be Why interesting. Would... Why would you piss at the top of them? Well, I was here when they told me about it, and I thought, where was a good spot? He looks like you're ready to beg for some right cover, so you can... I literally yeah. just told you that twice. It's <laughs> freezing. It is. <laughs> What the fuck is going on? <laughs> Why was he splitting? <clears throat> I'm, I'm getting those wadaks! Yeah. Where'd they go? I didn't know. What the bloody hell is happening? I don't know. It's every fucking night, it's not even business. It's a matter between Kinsmen. I see. Well, we just got a total of four boars today. Good profits. So I'm pretty happy with today. Master Dwarf, uh, I think you need to. I should probably put the arrows away. Hey Kyler, you have a very opposing man who's looking at you. Smells like a sergeant. No, no. So, <clears throat> so, what was happening with this dwarf and why was I getting reports that he was apparently trying to mug his own men or his friends? I have no idea. Sergeant, you know what? It's your job. I saw them running around trying to catch each other, but that's it. You think it's some sort of dwarven ritual? He thing? said it was uh, a, an issue between kinsmen. Oh, they Sir Rallied. <clears throat> Sir Rallied. Well, uh, I'll, I'll leave you be. Mm -hmm. uh, you take care. Have a have a good day. You know, stop looking so tired because your eyes are squinted. You know. Oh, two K. It's not the one with the C K. Just, just maybe wake up a little bit. You know, that, no, that. 
Okay. Guess that's his mum now. They reached a certain point. What? So wait, if Captain Rab is the sir okay. captain, <coughs> uh, Sir Rabbit, does that mean he's the Maybe captain now? Me, I'm, I'm not, not sure. Uh, am I regular eyed now? You know how you said the thing about the forks and how you had to eat with your hands? Yes. Well, I decided since you had to eat with your hands, I got you one too if you want to come by the farm later. You know what? You keep it. Start a collection. <clears throat> okay. You having trouble there? Welcome back. I'm not sure how I'll collect more though. Have you seen the dwarfs around? Yeah, they keep chasing someone. They're around. Gonna talk about it or what's going on? If I wanted to talk about it, I'd be talking about it, wouldn't I? Thought you might need a nudge. <laughs> no. So how'd that go, Mirandel? No. Good, it went well. Tyler, can I speak to you? Um, yesterday you mentioned you needed to speak to someone at the camp. Yeah. The bandits that were just here left, I told them that if he was still around to come here. No. <laughs> uh, then I will tell them if he does come that, um, to leave them. Uh, there was not really much time. Uh, yeah, this, this kind of thing would really be... A lot better if you, I don't know, spoke to me at all through any of this, Mirandel. Like, at all. Before you started doing things that you didn't actually understand what you're doing. And putting people in situations that I'm they don't sorry, want to I... be in. Alright, I'll tell them not to come. Good. Well, I apologize, I did not know it was something... I don't know. I honestly don't know. I don't know what's going on with you, and I'm... We talk in private, then? Uh, so you can understand yes, what happens? Yes. Sure. Um, um, either way. I don't know, where's a fucking private spot nowadays? Over here. <clears throat> Do you say the Dread Nyers have left? They have either left or are leaving shortly. Hmm. When they spoke, they probably Yellen? planned to do so this morning. Today. Yeah, the dread knives are the reason why I had to leave Gradio. I did not. Well, the dread knives are the reason why I had to leave Gradio. They turned my friends I against see. me, had them betray me, threw me out to dry. That man, Salah Crudin, either was involved in or knows who was involved in the rape and murder of my mother.
And if they are gone, that is my only chance to find out what happened. You denying me to go in there was my only chance. It's sunset. We should go talk to people. Kyla, I didn't... I don't want a conversation with the man. I need answers from him. I see. And I will get them in any way I know how. If I get my hands on him and no one is able to stop me, I will make that fucking dungeon event look like a walk in the fucking park, Mirandel. Do you understand me? Kyla. Let Arn know we wanted to bring Arn along on this mission, didn't we? Right. Fractured Thrones, the tabletop game.
us the people. Eye is itchy. Uh, 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 someone talks the other hall. than the uh, one I spoke to not too long ago. Um, I haven't the oh no, uh, the other one went in there as well. Town hall. Yeah, uh, they're both one. in there. Hobbit? Yeah, one of them's a Hobbit. Oh, There's right. like two elves and a Hobbit. Aegon, you should go to the uh, town hall. Why is that? Putting together a team for a mission. Thought you might be interested. <sighs> I suppose so. I'll go give it a look. And I shall finish telling you the story of Samuel the Second. What is your name, Grandma? Baylor. My name is. You guys should head to the town hall. We're putting together a team for something coming up. If you're interested. I heard. It's one of those new buildings. We see everyone gathering around. Go to the tavern. Take a right up the hill. You see all the new buildings up there. I see. All right. I'll see what I can do. I'm already done with my work. Well, I'll talk to Alex later. Yeah. Yeah.
promotion. I no cut. I was a no. dumb being educated. I had a little bit of information about the uh, helping with the Palisade for a full solo worth paying. Tang at all? Nope. <clears throat> what a turnout. I think the rest are inside. Mm. You made I'm here. really a nice amount of money today. That old no I fucking killed. Hey, yes, sir, it's gonna land me about sixty copper. Oh. Again <clears throat> by a different yeah. party this time, but that's the same subject. Aren't otherwise. those my antlers? What the fuck you are antlers? Alright, oh. I killed that one. Well, they were uh, <laughs> they long, huh? when we started, so. Alright. Personally, I want to go back here and use this. I don't I'd agree with you, but I don't think my opinion is completely valid, given the stories I heard. Can't exactly protect anyone there. <laughs> Interesting little Time gathering. Alright. Yes. <clears throat> so, I'm sure you're all wondering why I have you uh, gathered here. So I will not waste any time. And I will just get s straight into it. We are in need of an expedition to the Bidari Forest. Hmm. We intend to excavate some ruins there and we need every able-bodied fighting man available to do so I need to let you all know that this will be a very dangerous mission as there have been orcs sighted in the area uh, yes there are orcs sighted in the area Orcs infest those woods. There's not some, it's not sporadic. It's full of fucking orcs. These are the orcs that murdered the entirety of Morgan's dwarven convoy. Ah. And there are orcs nonetheless. So Continue. while we need people yes. who fight, we need people who will follow orders more specifically and keep their mouth shut and let Mirren do the talking. The rest of us, mm. just the fighting. Talking. Indeed. You want to talk to all? No, no, if there's no. just Why is talk... it? Well... That's funny. We always try to talk to the things that don't want us alive. We're not talking to people... orcs. We're just not if talking there's to talking at all. To any orcs. <laughs> what they meant is they just the one like source of What I mean of is, is already, which is already has devolved into a. Uh, <laughs> there's not an open discussion currently. This is exactly what I'm talking about. We do not need commentary. We do not need everyone putting in their two cents. We need people who will follow a directive. And how can I help you, Captain? Just making people shutting their mouths and listening to you, Mirindo. Thank you. Hmm. We take the Captain with us. God, I wish. <laughs> no, but he's needed here. Wish. We'll need people who are following directives to a letter people who can fight and who have the equipment to do so because this will be a, a dangerous mission and I do not expect to come back without at least some amount of casualties are you going somewhere? <laughs> camping yes camping camping we're going on a suicide trip, trip to the Bedarian Forest. 
No, those are my favorite well, kinds of outings. You should come with us. Agreed. <laughs> are you going there? We could use you. <sighs> because we're crazy. Hmm. Ah. With all due respect, there is no. Uh, you know, we could use the militia here in Lydford more than out there, risking their lives for something probably not as important. We're not taking I mean, everyone, surely. If it's important, tell me. It is important. It's. Something that I believe might help us in the coming days. Help us. Or help Ledford. You. In what regard? How do you see these ruins helping us? <sighs> well, I have to put your cards on the table now, Mirandel, so everybody thinks it's fucking crazy of you as I do. Mm. Walking into an ark infested land with no reason as to why, so... On my recent trips with the Adventurer's Guild, I have seen many things that I would label as um, impossible, or... <laughs> quite honestly... Get outside. Saying, right, I was saying, we've all seen creatures that should not exist. We've all seen and heard things that we could not explain. Ian Dell and I, and Zerveth, we shared a sort of vision. Something that might be key to turning the tide in what is to come. This trip is to investigate that and see if we cannot harness whatever powers might lie out there for ourselves, for Ledford. Powers? Sounds <laughs> almost like Can what's I ask coming. Since no one. Seems to be like fairy tales, Mirandel. Mm. What are we really going for? Let's go. Come on, man. Bro, so you weren't there. You don't fucking understand what we saw. None of you do. I'm not asking everyone. I'm not asking. Well, I am asking. I'm pleading all of you to take a chance on this. But I will also not ask you to throw your lives away if you do not. If you do not think it wise, if you do not believe in what we are trying to do here. Hmm, really throwing your life away and wise are together, so why not? This, this city Could be fun. Must be true. On. If everyone else is putting their cards on the table, seems like you had something to say. Had something to say, but uh, I believe he's trying to remember. Let him think. Let the man think. Okay. It's fine. We can continue this oh. conversation. No. He's gone. Come back. He disappeared into the ether. We just do. We just do. Fuck <laughs> sake. Quiet. Quiet. He's still here. Oh, definitely oh, well, waiting for him to come back. Yeah. Yeah. Man, now. We will wait though. Wait for him to come back. He has a sense. <laughs> I agree <laughs> with Charles yeah. yeah. for once. Weeding out the people who we'll aren't give on a moment to useful. Return. Anyone who's piping up. But honestly, or they won't show up. You have to understand all of us seeing this from people our need to learn when to shut the fuck up. Sure, we may have not been there from whatever you saw, but what you speak true. of is literal. How do you say Yes, it's a fantasy, but you know, I've seen it. I've seen these things myself. You're going to give us a vague description of what we've been trying to attain. Well, I cannot give. How many of you have seen this? 
How many of you can verify you what listening? he says? I have... I've seen the dead walk. Like, but what is to come I've in the coming days? I've seen creatures from the Underdark that see? Be, shouldn't be there. We don't know. You we don't need know. the puzzle pieces. Well, that is why they're well, killing well, anybody. Asking, can you ever really know well. anything? Uh... What the hell? What is everything? We need to know that we're going against what we saw down there. We can't just. <laughs> I can't speak what we are going oh. against, I'm sure, needs no explanation. If you have been around Ledford, you know what is coming to Ledford. Uh, or you at least I have a sneaking suspicion. The attacks every night have been. Just the sign of the right opening of this. Let's put it this way to clear any doubts we are having. You know that I personally try my best to uh, keep tabs on my quote unquote adventures, the things that I've seen have done is that autobiography of sorts. And believe you me, anyone else who reads that book will believe that everything in it is complete fiction. And part of me almost wishes it was, but time and time again we do run into these things that are nigh unexplainable. And these runes he's talking about are no different. They are there. There is no problem in questioning somebody to a cage. They're just afraid of the mystery, is all. They want to be sure before they rush into anything. It's important to you all. After this meeting, I'm scared. We don't want you. I will just say this. I'm not afraid of anything. I'm speaking for others who are too scared to speak for themselves. I will just say this. Whatever it is you choose, whether you decide to stay or to come with us, just know that I would not ask you to come on a wild goose chase if I was not positive that this would be something that would help save us all. And you're looking for what you believe might be a shot in the dark, a little flame that this is quite heavily tied to the same thing that has saved numerous lives here in the past. Things that I have personally worked with and can attest to their efficacy I mean, the, and that was only everyone hurts. I'm sure that most of the people here have heard. Thank you. So it's just notes people's lives were saved. This could be something much greater than that. Especially with the bits of evidence I've again. seen. Look, it is clear our lives are borderline impossible to live with. And every night we have to worry about whether we wake up tomorrow or not. And as crazy as it sounds, this could be the end of what we are suffering through. We could have normalcy again as little as that is we don't have to go to you bed you don't know normalcy you are very new here and at oh, least you do something not know close to normalcy. at least the normalcy that we do not have to worry about getting stuck in our hearts at night that we do not have to constantly wake up to run inside those gates only to find out that those demons have entered inside as well that <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. That looked fucking fantastic for my PO. So, we have a what do you mean? He was here the whole fucking time. Are you all blind? She's tired. It's been a long trip. We should take my eyes are now, I believe the last thing that was said is Cade asked oh, yes. you if you had something to add to this on. I want you to do sound like. <laughs> <laughs> my diary. Hmm. You did sound like you had something to say about it all. I feel like it should be fully explained without the mystery about it before I give my two cents. I would love Just to, however. however. <sighs> At this point, it's just going to cause more problems than it's going to solve answers. Or, or solve questions. Very well. I suppose it is. It is I suppose it is fine. Since there are no need to leave Perhaps. 
It's one of those things that the people going should know about, and no one else. So he's trying to discern who would be going first before he explains it all. I, well, this is I not one of those issue. fucking situations uh, where you find out who's gonna go before you tell them what they're doing, because this is fucking suicide. Well, exactly. For instance, how many of you fought orcs? Just a question. Briefly, so yeah, they'll just I don't really just sneak past them. They've seen them. They'll hunt you down, they will sniff you out. Their senses and they will anything they will eat you. We cover that, we cover we ourselves food. in mud and shit, them. and we sneak through. We're small. What, are these giant creatures, or are they... ...of the dark? What, 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 what are we, we should doing? decide now who goes. Uh, and always talk he's got now. How will this like help Ledford? He's so mad he just shut down. Alright. Just put it on the table now. Let me explain. First of all, there is someone that we cannot trust here in Ledford. Someone keeps breaking into my scribery. They have recently killed all of our ravens. There is no more way to send outside messages in a timely manner. With that said, if they hear this information, it will be a long time before they can get it to the Empire. So, I suppose that is all well and fine if they are in this room. Recently, on the trip to... Uh, Gil Galahad or Gilamore. 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 We... Stumbled across an ancient ruin. Something old, something older than the, the, the even the third era. Something buried. We came across creatures. No, that's not the right word. It's, they were once human, uh, and they stood at perfect attention in armor. What do you mean by they? Person? were husks, mummified by time, by whatever forces compelled them. They protected what was down there. And what was down there was a massive gate. Surrounded by crystals. Those crystals that made my head swim. Surrounded by runes, guarding the floors. When we touched those runes, voices, yes. When we touched the runes, all of these husks came to life and tried to cut us down. I snagged some notes and a cipher. Something that can help us decode these runes. Something that could help us use these gateways which we know from the records left behind by Goldrick himself, the elusive man that we seem to keep coming into contact with. We know that they are connected to each other, these gates. And they are spaced out quite evenly. One below Gillamore, one in the Badaria Forest, perhaps even one here. If we can use these gateways, we can circumvent the Empire. Hit them where they don't expect us to hit them. We can break sieges. We can halt them in their tracks at choke points. And then what if they get their hands on it? Then we're all fucked. I mean, best is we say Soviets locked up and hit him. Why go search for something that could cause so much havoc? And how Not exactly know, hidden yeah. right in the minds of Gilamon. And how do you know that? Well, you only seen it through a vision. No. What? One at a time, person? please, for the love of God. In person? Oh, Jesus. Different story, then. Apologies. So, how do you know that even if we use these, it will somehow overpower the Empire? <laughs> do you remember the Inquisitors that came here? Aye. Of course. They are not the people who would want to. <clears throat> 
I still it is not that a that matter day. of us ourselves going to break sieges. If we can harness this power for the right people, it can be used. What we have in our favor is terrain and time right now. I do have a question. If this is so important, if this is such a uh, such a decisive factor in what's to come, then why is it just the militias marching on it? Why not pull the uh, pull a whole levy or the or, or a Lord Commander oh, God himself and march you, upon it? Uh, are you going to go and tell the Lord about the magical gates under the caves in <laughs> a neighboring Lord's cabins? Or in the old peasant forest, it doesn't it? <laughs> it sounds yes. absolutely batshit, doesn't it? But you want us to go and risk our lives to go into this fucking forest Whoa. that's full of orcs, into a ruin that may be just like the one that you've already been to, that all of you almost fucking died to. And then we would have to make our way back out of that fucking forest, out of that fucking ruin. For what? For something that you, you think might help? Oh. Maybe. Perhaps. Alright. Uh. If there are people here that we cannot trust, you are leading them right to it. Uh, if there's anyone going there with ill intent, they won't be returning, that's for sure. We How won't know, be because they've been a part of us. Is that all we wait here. for the Empire's vanguard to arrive in probably two to three days' time? And then we must rely on what we have to break the siege. How do you know that the Empire even comes here? <laughs> because I am the scribe. I meet with the king and the king's son. I write down their notes. Fuck. Mirandor. There is theoretical proof that these things are what you say they are. These these gateways, or what was the word they used? They said protection. Archways, they call them. Archway. Oh. Not a bit of an oxymoron. <sighs> I guess he's got another diary for us. More notes. The ones that crashed are not going, it's, it's an omen. <laughs> <laughs> They'll, they'll die if they go. Baylor, Aegon, and Arn are not allowed to fucking go now. <laughs> Good, because Aegon would just get out of there. Aegon would just fucking leak. walk off and die, so. So, long story short. Maybe he can draw the orcs away. Whatever this, stop, these stop, ruins stop. are, whatever they hold, I mean, clearly there was something there when we went down into the mines. It was not just a. A bunch of old rubble. Things happened. You fell over and saw something. You saw something and then... I did see something. I saw probably the only thing that can prove that these archways work the way they do. And what was that? <clears throat> One of the priests is here. No, I'm not certain. And that is the whole point no. of all of this. I'm asking you for this aid. Not knowing that w what we will do will actually be of any benefit. Okay. In that but case, I can tell you what is happening is the vanguard is arriving in two to three days. So, the daily attacks are bad now. We would die have a lot of tall vanguard. Let me ask this then. Or two in the forest. What did you two even see? What happened? People coming and going about from these archways. What are the creatures down there? Let her speak. The creatures down there. In the cave. In Gillamot. Remember. I know you did not see it there. Oh, I remember. It obviously did not go in the way you did. You busy? Right? I agree. You understand what I'm saying? No, it's not. I do. No, it's not. I'll speak it as well so everyone understands that 
all sides of it, I guess. This way we can enter the village. I may have royally fucked if you don't mind. underneath Gillamore the archway by sticking my nose where it didn't belong. I touched the runes on the ground and was immediately entranced. Instead of the blue crystals that reigned above, speaking thousands of words in different voices, I saw purple. And instead of meandering people going to and fro, I saw screaming and panic as the archway crumbled. I can only assume, seeing as these people would drow, that there was another archway at one point, but it may not still stand because something broke it. And it just so happens in Gillimore, in the caves, there is a deadly creature that should not fucking be there, that only dwells in the Underdark, and I've never heard of it leaving. The Shadow Fiend is how you would pronounce it in your language. The only way it could have come into that area is most likely through this archway, because there's no possible geographical way that it went through the same entrance that we did. It would not come to the surface. If my theory is correct, this cannot only really transport people, but things as well. So whatever orcs <coughs> should not follow us. Hmm. To be ruins. Best we want them popping up underneath Ledford. I doubt that orcs would be capable of harnessing such things. But if they pop up underneath I Ledford, the should we leave it buried? <laughs> Yet there it is, still alive underneath Gillamore, eating people. Unkillable, mind you. Skin as hard as stone. Fast that means fast. someone brought it there. So then we will make sure that we are not followed. We avoid our Mirandel, do you know how to operate this archway? <laughs> I have a theory. <laughs> you have a theory? Yes. Do you want me to say it out loud? And, we're cornered. and if your theory Haven't doesn't work time. and we're cornered... Then we... Because when you ask out. people to risk their lives for something, you have to have a clear plan of action. An entry, your mission, and a way out. And everything that we're getting here are very ghostly images of not an entire picture. You and I have spoken at length, but there are a ton of people here who don't quite understand what they are going to be walking into. And if you are not correct in your assumption, we are utterly fucked. A hundred percent. I think you understand that. <clears throat> I also have a question. So let's say we open up this archway. What do we do with it? What's the success here? And to what end? We have the no success. idea. The objective of this is not to s suddenly have it all figured out and link all of the archways. This is deciphering the kernel that we have so that we can come to understand this. There sure, is... If you even a cipher that I have. I have not had enough time or resources to decrypt it. However, if I can get more examples, more see the ways that they are used more often, then perhaps I can. Perhaps we can use this, for lack of a better word, magic to our advantage. So, the less flourished way of saying I this is we provide an armed escort through a forest that is filled with orcs into a ruin that is filled with whatever the fuck may be that almost killed all of you last time so you can look at something and maybe not even figure it out and then try and hightail it out of the same thing. Yes. Do you understand why that sounds like madness? It sounds like you're walking in a day. It's just better to just be prepared. What other actions do we have? Do we all? Obviously. The bad god. Why has it got to be now? Because we're running out of time. We 
Well, if the vanguard comes and steamrolls all of us, then there won't be us to go and look at it anyway. Well, I mean, going on a dance through the forest to look at fucking strange things is... Seems a bit of a harsher time, and if the, people die, the fucking die, supernatural and paranormal have come in handy more than any of you fuckers ever. Oh, I Spear agree. Also, what is your what is your suggestion if we didn't do this? <laughs> Careful. What is your suggestion for dealing with what is to come? What resources do you think we you have can. on hand? You sound like a fucking empire. whelp. A whelp. We might have. Access to probably one of those well, you powerful shut fucking. Shut up and let speak. He's been speaking and giving us nothing. Mirandel, I said that there might have been men in the us. How certain are you of that? How certain am I of what? How certain are you that we might even have one underneath us? You said that earlier. How long you have you been has even been in that crypt? Do you remember? The caves beneath those things yeah, went. <clears throat> Our objective there. We had to retrieve a trinket for Fulgrith. This trinket happens to seem very similar in both color. And the way that it made me huh. I think that might be some kind of key and if it's down there perhaps there's another archway as well well I'd speculated to you that perhaps there was an archway behind us or underneath us I should say but even so with what's down there we would need to convince the Lord, or at least Sir Rallet, to send men with us. We would not survive down there by ourselves, and we're pressed for time, Never as you said. Again, that would seem like more sense rather than going to the Bedaria Forest. There's more to it than I agree. Side. The yes, I'm so aware. Well. Uh, important reason. The Dryad is from head. the Bedaria Forest, if you are unaware. My and it has yes, been a long time since she's been there, and even she did not know it was full of orcs. Things change. In... Sorry, Luke. Regardless, the cipher that he speaks of, I have seen it for myself, and I can attest that these are things that I have seen before. For what purpose it has been lost time. But I can assure you that wherever they are seen is in places of great power. And the place that they were obtained from originally was from a book in front of a door that they found in the ruins that we are seeking out. Just as those two have had visions of that place, even earlier than them, I believe so too have I.